Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain the training process that used during the construction of FaceNet. So as mentioned earlier that uh, FaceNet directly learns mapping from faces to uh, compact 1D vector called face embedding. So during the training process, uh, CNN parameters including the weights and biases will be updated in order to get the minimum triplet loss. So the key idea of the triplet loss is that uh, uh, face vectors for the same identities uh, become more similar or have smaller distance as shown here, whereas uh, face uh, vectors that belong to different identities are expected to be less similar or have larger distance as shown here. So referring to the architecture given here, we can see that we have three input images the first one is called anchor the second one is called positive which belong to the same identity of anchor the third one is called negative which belong to different identity so after that we have uh, cnn so it should be noted that these cnn here uh, have the same weights and the same architecture so they are identical so during the training process we have two phases the first one is called forward propagation so in forward propagation these phases will be mapped to 1d vector or phase embedding after that we'll compute the triplet loss using this formula so here we have a small alpha value in order to make this computation positive so we are adding small positive value so after computing the triplet loss here a stochastic gradient descent uh, is applied as shown here in order to compute the new values of the weights and biases so this is our triplet loss here we are looking for the minimum so after that we have the second phase which is the back propagation so the parameters here uh, the weights and biases will be updated using the new values so this training process will be repeated several times according to the number of uh, a box thank you